I'm doing the van build. It is 10 a.m. We got some rest because we were exhausted from yesterday and we are heading out on day two of what we need to do today, which is going to be painting the back. Okay, no, first, well, let's start from the beginning. We gotta, we gotta measure the back and figure out how much plywood we need for underneath the flooring and also how much insulation we're gonna to need to insulate the van so it's not cold as F. We're gonna go buy all the stuff with the van and then we're gonna paint the back of the van because we like stripped all that rust out yesterday. Now we have to put a fresh layer of paint on it so it looks nice and brand spanking new and also so it doesn't rust even more. So it's gonna be a little less work today than yesterday but uh, there's not too much we can do because of the weather and because we have to wait for the paint to dry. What she said. <laughs> Andy's not functioning yet. No, I'm functioning. You just did <laughs> Man, I'm just giving you a compliment. What she said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get this big ass van on the road and get our day started. Let's go. Let's go. Second plan change, or third plan change today. Number one was we're gonna paint the bottom, but it's too cold today, so change of plans to doing nothing today and just getting all the stuff for tomorrow. And then the sun came out, so it's still not cold, hot enough, so third plan is to get rid of all this rust that's on the door, so let me show you. So hopefully by the end of the day, this will be all white. So much like yesterday, you deal with rust the same way. You scrape off all this stuff that is coming off, sand it down, and then you paint it. Then you make sure make sure this doesn't happen again, because the problem here is that there is a... Watch, watch the blade go in. See that? That's no good. So you gotta be able to fill that thing in. So we're just gonna put some protective stuff around this, and then be fixed for ever. or Andy and my dad fixed up the rust on the outside as much as they could today. It's really cold and really windy, so we have to finish that up tomorrow. But we are spending the rest of today getting all of the materials we're gonna need for tomorrow because it's gonna be 16 degrees, so we're gonna try and get a shit ton done. So today we are buying insulation for the entire van. We're buying wood for the walls and the ceilings. Um, so things like uh, 12 foot beams and eight foot beams. And then we also need to buy Bondo, automotive primer, and uh, masking tape. And that's our list. And I hope we're not forgetting anything because I don't wanna have to come out again tomorrow. <laughs> but we are just here at Lowe's to get the stuff that we're gonna put on the ceiling, which is gonna be uh, a big MDF board that looks nice. And then we have to go over to Home Hardware to get everything else that we need. So let's go. So getting ready for tomorrow. And part of our problem is that there is rust and uh, it, there's some pinholes in there, so now we're trying to f figure out which thing a bondo to get. This is pinholes, so I assume this one, but gonna, che gonna check with the guru. We are just pulling out of oh home goodness. hardware. It is legit the best home hardware store in Canada and in the world. I'm gonna come out, go out on a limb and say it. Uh, it's great, when you get stuff, you literally just go up to the desk and order it, and they'll sort you uh, sort you out and you pull through their yard and then they'll load everything for you. So really great if you're trying to build anything. If you want to see more of our van build series and our road trip across Canada, please give us a big thumbs up on this video and consider subscribing to our channel.
Good morning on day three of the build. Today is packed. Uh, we have to do a whole bunch of stuff. Um, we got a bunch of materials in the back of the van. We got insulation, we got the roof, we got the sides, we got uh, lumber to mount all this stuff on. We have to paint the bottom of the, uh, of the van. It's, pa it's a packed day today. We, we got up pretty early, it's about nine o'clock. Um, yeah, time to get going. Now, before we actually do anything though, it's a nice sunny day outside, so I'm gonna go and test our um, power source, aka our solar panels to make sure that it's actually working. Uh, all that's gonna be is me hooking up the uh, our huge battery bank and plugging it in. Um, yeah, it's nice and simple, but if it doesn't work, then we're in big trouble. So let's do this and fingers crossed. And here we are, boys and girls. Right now we have 36 watts with it in this morning sun. This is, uh, doesn't seem like much, but when you plug it into the wall, it's still only about 12 watts. So we're getting a good amount of power out of it. Good morning guys, day three of the van build. We have a huge list of things to do today. The weather is gorgeous, so it's perfect for us. Uh, we've already uh, jumped right in. We're starting to trace out the plywood that's gonna go on the floor. Um, and so while we do that, my dad is going to work on some of the wiring in the van because he's gonna deal with all the electrics for us. So come and see what we're up to. Van build day three, how are you feeling? Good. Are you excited? Yeah, subfloor day today. All right, we gotta get back to work. If your cargo van came with a floor mat already installed that you planned to rip out, make sure to actually keep it once you tear it out. It is the perfect stencil for cutting your subfloor. Now, if it didn't come with one, don't fret because you can use cardboard to create a stencil of the shape of the van and then transfer that onto your plywood. All right guys, I did shop class back in grade school. Turns out I still know how to do some things. I mean, it's not too hard to use a saw, but we used a circular saw to cut our straight line. Then we used a jigsaw to cut our curved lines. And that's our first piece for the base. What's the current situation, Andy? The the pad that we used actually comes up a little bit so we need to cut about an inch out of that side so everything will slide in we need a little bit off of here let's see last piece of the sub floor plus a roof discussion and of truth yeah. it's yeah. in it's in! It's in! Okay, we got the subfloor done. Everything's good to go. Uh, we are gonna break for lunch soon, but while we're waiting for food to cook, we're gonna take all of these bars off. So these bars actually came in the van when we bought it. Um, we are still using them. They're gonna be really good base to get our um, insulation and sound deadener in, but we need to adjust them because they don't go all the way to the right length. So we're gonna take them off move them down and then fill in the missing gaps. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I 
I seriously cannot believe that we are doing this. We always talked about like, not full van lifing, because we're not full van lifing, but having a van that we can road trip with so that we can, you know, actually fit everything we want versus just taking the car. So this is like, for Andy, I know this is a pure bucket list item. He's like super, super excited about it. And as it's coming together, it's just getting more and more exciting. Okay, so we finally got the wood beams into one side of the van. It looks like this. Um, so this is so that we can, you know, hold the insulation in and so that we can also attach the wall to the side of the van. So the next step here is to do the insulation, which is in this big package. And we basically just have to line the walls with all of that so we're gonna have at least one wall done today if not both of them and then we can go on to the next step It is unanimous. Laying insulation is the worst. My arms are so itchy right now. Fiberglass is the, the worst. worst. You okay, babe? Yeah. Last bit of insulation for today. All right, the end of build day three. The van is completely dirty again with insulation because we fully insulate it except for the roof. Insulation is the worst. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we've wrapped up the day with a non-painted floor but cut out subroof, fully insulated to and uh, subroof. Subfloor. Subfloor, fully insulated, <laughs> two of the uh, walls, and uh, uh, a little bit of body work done. Exhaust is super itchy from the insulation. For the 50th time, insulation is the worst. Time to go home and eat. Catch you in the next one. <laughs>